Hello, hello, hello. It's Mook and me and you. Oh, 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 oh. Mook, can we play with that book again? Yes, that is what I love about you, Mook. You are so excited about learning. Are you excited about learning today? Today, we're going to work on fluency. Oh, fluency. What fluency? <laughs> Mark. Fluency is like a sandwich. You need to read all your words correctly. You need to read smoothly. And you need to read with expression. All three of those things is fluency. Are you ready to be a fluent reader, Ma? Are you ready? Okay. So we are going to rewind and remix. Woo! <laughs> We're going to read um, some of the book, Sometimes I Feel Like a Mouse, a book about feelings again. Okay, you happy about that, Mark? Mwah! <laughs> and we're going to remix the game as if. Actors need to prepare before they act. So the first thing we're going to do is relax. Please close your eyes and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And I want you to remember when you were on the beach and the sun was warming your back and your legs and your shoulders and the sand was between your toes. And you can smell the sea water and hear the waves rolling on the seashore and the seagulls. And then your mouth feels really dry. So you get up and you go jump in the water, make a big splash. Now come up a little, and we're going to do Freddy Fried Five Fish. And splash the water with one hand and each part of our body at a time. Are you ready? Ready? Here we go. Freddy Fried Five Fish. Splash that water. Freddy Fried Five Fish. Your other hand. Freddy Fried Five Fish. Now your leg. Freddy Fried Five Fish, both legs. Can you do both legs at the same time? Freddy, fry, five, fish. Let's go underwater and say it like we're underwater. Fish. Now let's scream for our friends to come into the water. Freddy, fry, five, fish. Let's go underwater last time and shake underwater. Freddy, Fried five fish. Woo! Now I'm ready like Freddy. I'm ready like Eddie. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a little dizzy, Mark? <laughs> Let's keep going. This book is so perfect for working on fluency because 
it has a pattern. Every page starts the same. Sometimes I feel like, so that's really gonna give us a lot of opportunities to read the line over and over again. And good readers, good readers read, read, all the time and they reread their favorite books and even just books over and over ready let's get this party started <laughs> so we are going to remix to remix the game as if, just a little bit. So let me explain the directions. In my pocket, I have a set of cards. Pile A and Pile B. Pile A, the cards say child or the card says adult. In my other pocket, I have a pile of cards that have emotions, feelings that we saw in the book. Shy, happy, excited, warm or mad and so now what we're going to do is i'm going to pick a card from pile a and i'm going to pick a card from pile b and i am going to read the line from the story as if I am a child who is happy. Okay. So, can you help me, Mom? Get, get it out of there. Th oh, thank you. Child. And I'll get this one out, okay? Thanks. You're a great help. Shy. Sometimes I feel like a mouse hiding shy. Good job. Oh, you want to give me a kiss? This guy. Your turn. Help me. Adult, I'll get this one. Happy. Oh, that's it. That's an easy one. Okay, ready? Sometimes I feel like a canary singing. Happy. Ah, good job. My turn. I'm a child again. What kind of child am I going to be? Excited. Oh, that's our favorite thing, right? We love being excited. Sometimes I feel like a, a squirrel skittering, excited. Thank you, I did a good job. Your turn. Wow. 
What do you know? A doll. Okay. Let's see what kind of adult you're gonna be. Warm. Let's see how that looks. Sometimes I feel like a cat snuggling warm. Good job, Mark. Good job. You read that accurately. You read it with smoothness and expression. Oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> Good job. Okay, guess who's next? And now we have one for you. How about Mark? Can you use your imagination, your body, and your voice? to act like an adult who is mad. Go ahead. Great job. And you did a great job too, Mark. You did a great job in using your imagination, your body, and your voice to read fluently. And remember, reading fluently is like that sandwich. You need three parts to it, right? Read all your words correctly. You need to read smoothly, and you need to read with expression. So keep reading, boys and girls, and until we see you next time, peace.